Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy. I'm Lucas. And welcome back to Patched. And today we're gonna be reviewing the Cooler Master SK622. And this is actually a 60% gaming keyboard. And I was pretty surprised because 60% keyboards usually don't have arrow keys. Yeah, which, which is the reason why I don't like 60% keyboards, and which is also the reason why I use 65%. Uh, but it's actually 60% form factor. Of course, we have the uh, Ducky 1-2 SF right here. And as, as you guys can see, it is a little bit larger than uh, this keyboard. So uh, that is actually pretty cool. But of course, it does have some drawbacks, and we'll get, get into all that. This keyboard is going for 120 bucks. So if you guys do want to get it, we'll leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started off with the bottom of the keyboard and we got some uh, we got some rubber feet and we got some kickstands that only adjust to one height and i actually like it because it's actually pretty pretty steep and yeah, it's, I, a, I yeah, like it's that. a good height yeah. feels good feels good and ergonomic i'd say mm -hmm. um moving on to the chassis i mean it's sort of a it's a mix between plastic and aluminum as they state on their website so the bottom of it is kind of plastic and the top of it is this sort of brushed aluminum look and they've got this sort of like beveled edge there that's kind of shiny which is pretty nice as far as the switches go we have these rgb back backlit ones and we have ttc mechanical switches in the r low profile now they come in red, blue, or brown, uh, and they pretty much follow the same pattern as far as like clickiness and tactileness as cherry. So brown is gonna be tactile, blue is gonna be clicky, red's gonna be linear. We have here the reds, um, and they also have some low profile keycaps on them as well. Um, so everything about this is very low profile, very small, very compact, very easy to take around. And then another factor about this it's got wireless capability too. So it's got Bluetooth as well, charges via a USB-C cable connected to the keyboard. On Bluetooth, it's a 125 hertz signal. Without that, it's got a thousand hertz signal. And uh, overall, it seems like a pretty stacked deal. Yeah, and uh, the, the USB-C port is right here in the middle of the keyboard. You know, sometimes it's on the left, sometimes it's on the right, but for this keyboard, it's in the middle. And here on the left side of the keyboard, we have a little switch course if you do want to use bluetooth you know it turns on the keyboard the rgb is still pretty damn bright and also we have a lot line of rgb here going around the keyboard as well which looks pretty cool uh, right underneath this beveled edge because it has that shiny type of surface there so that's actually pretty cool um and as far as the switches go uh they are red switches so they are linear in the keyboard that we got but the actuation distance on this keyboard is actually a, a little bit shorter than normal you know like like in this keyboard so uh, that actually took a little bit of getting used to like when i first got it i was like yo this feels really weird right but then once you keep using it you actually get used to it and it feels pretty pretty damn nice you know uh, yeah. typing on this is it feels great gaming on it it feels great one thing that i didn't really like about uh the, this keyboard though is the space bar the space bar feels a little i, I don't know if you guys can hear just just listen like that it didn't feel the best, but every other key felt pretty damn nice. Yeah, and I mean, it's, it's that low profile feel. So it's it makes you like, it makes you type faster having less actuation distance. I mean, in theory anyways. Um, but I felt like I typed a lot faster on this guy. Kind of reminded me of like a, um, a Logitech G915 in that sense. You know, that wireless one that was super, super low profile. I felt like I typed so fast on that. <laughs> Wasn't great for gaming, but I typed really fast on it. Sort of similar situation here. And I love how you have different Bluetooth profiles. You have Windows and Mac options on there as well. So I actually connected this guy to my computer via Bluetooth because I got a new TV, it's the LG C1, and I was playing from my bed. So I had a wireless mouse on my bed and I used this keyboard and just sort of sat it on my lap and I was using it and it felt so responsive and actually so quick. Um, the only downsides to using it on Bluetooth, of course you wouldn't want to use it for gaming. The 2.4 gigahertz is so much faster and more responsive. Um, but over Bluetooth, you're getting 125 hertz as opposed to 1,000, as well as you're only getting six key rollover to save battery as opposed to N key rollover. So that's sort of how many keys can be pressed down and registered at the same time. Now on this guy, if you're using it with Bluetooth and you wanna save battery life, which they don't actually state the battery life on their website, I couldn't find it anywhere. But if you guys know it, put it in the comments for me. Um, but if you wanna save battery life, obviously turn off the RGB. Um, but I was only using it for short periods of time, so I actually left it on over Bluetooth. 
Um, and I didn't didn't mind it. I never had the battery run out on me. And like I mentioned before, it is a 60% form factor, uh, but it has arrow keys, which is super nice. And I feel like that's a, that's something that a lot of people want in their keyboards. You know, that 60% doesn't have. And of course, if you're a gamer, you need to have a 60% form factor. You know what I mean? Uh, so they, uh, like, like, like we mentioned before, uh, the shift key is actually made a very, very small, which kind of sucks, but who uses a shift key anyway, right? The right shift, yeah. <laughs> the right shift. And also uh, they kept the delete key here, right above the uh, right arrow key, which is actually very, very nice. And it's very convenient as well. And also on the keycaps, we can see all the different types of options. If you press the command button, you can you can do different macros and stuff like that. So, and also you can customize all of these things as well with their software. So uh, it's very convenient. I liked it. And uh, I liked how uh, they, they recognize that nobody uses the right shift key and they just made it small and added arrow keys. That's uh, yeah, very convenient. I like yeah, that. Love yeah, love those, love the arrow keys. And I know all the 60% users are gonna be like, but you can just press FN and then <laughs> but, but like, it's not the same. It's, it's not, not the same as having arrow keys. I can just yeah. sort of hit the corner of my keyboard and bam, plus five seconds in YouTube. Plus we're, five seconds, plus so five seconds. We're just, just like lazy that. like that, it's you true. know what I mean? It's true. Yeah. Um, half the time, I'm not even looking at my keyboard. I'm like all the way away from my desk. I just kind of want to slap an arrow key from the side. Exactly. And you know, and so um, this keyboard does that. And I actually love their software. Their software is something I think they've greatly improved on in time so i i think they did a really good job with that felt very adjustable i had no problems changing the rgb to my liking within the software uh, and making any adjustments as far as macro keys and anything like that as well so all in all i feel like it's a great deal it's a good keyboard as well but one thing that also that kind of sucks though is that if you want to have like custom keycaps you kind of can't because you need low profile and also uh, the form factor doesn't really match a whole lot of like general keycap shapes you know yeah so that kind of sucks but yeah i would say i mean the only thing i would say if i was to if i was to do this again is i would get this with the ttc brown switches in them because i'm just a i'm a tactile guy if you're a linear type of guy go with the reds if you're a clicky go with the go with the blues I typically like like browns, like Cherry MX browns, any anything like that. I typically like in a keyboard, so I'd like to see that in these. Um, but that's that's more of a personal preference type of thing. So for 120 bucks, wireless keyboard, Bluetooth capability, I like it. I and, like it. And it's 60% with arrow key, which is also very very nice. So uh, there are a lot of good things going for this keyboard, but of course there are a, a few things that you should watch out for that we already mentioned. So of course, I mean. We did enjoy this keyboard though. You know, we love the form factor. And also like, you know, with the Ducky 12SF, there, like there's, there's like an empty spot that I feel like they should have used as well. But in this keyboard, I feel like they utilize all the spa space that they can. And uh, they, they just they just made this keyboard very, very well, in my opinion. So uh, again, if you guys do want to get it, we'll leave a link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. See you in the next one.